Hi folks, in the last video tutorial you have seen that by model check is possible to simply check naming, relation, parameters, layers, placement, visualization of the layers and so on. And today I'd like to continue on this example and really to have a look on the details of the configuration files. So quick summary, if you will run model check the system will automatically check the configuration files for the missing relation, missing parameters, missing layers, or the model names or additional information. And directly then, if you will change and apply some modification, you can run model check one more time and check how the system will apply these changes. So let's have a look on the configuration files. You remember from last video tutorials that in the config pro you have to set up your model check directory because you would like to customize your custom files. So you can see here that right now I use the 4K SAT configuration and model check. So this is the part what you need to add and then directly the config source files what I using right now you can download from the coffee shop or you can create your custom one. I will open the configuration folder and you can see here a lot of files here. I will start from the condition MCC file and you can open it directly in the notepad and have a look what is described here. The simple modification is here because another one are not used here. You can see here that is design and doesn't mean that you don't want to use it. But over here means that if my model unit is equal millimeter, the system will check a couple of folders and files. What does it mean? If you will have a look here, right now, I will check my model is in millimeter, so everything works as I need. It's a condition MCC file. This condition is connected to condition init MC file. You can see in this file how the system will read and write information. So for example, if you would like to run the model check in the interactive mode or regenerate mode or save mode. So you can add here, for example, where the reports will be placed and how the system will manage the files. So one more time, the example is stored directly in the Creo installation or you can reuse my prepared files. Where to start? We can start from top to bottom and we would like to go to check folder. I have placed here always the document what is named 4k side and underscore and this file is again open and you can see here in this file that is possible to found the option if you would like to show the error or warning or you would like to only see it as the information. So for example, if I will select here the datum rename, you can see here that if the system model check will found that renaming is necessary, it will be not error, it will be warning. Yeah, for the interactive mode, for example, I specified and oh, you can see that almost everywhere yeah and again you can check here based on the names for example you would like to check the density or you would like to check the names so i will select and found a name and you can see instant names for now i don't want to check but model name yes i'd like to check the model name and it will be set up as the error what does it mean you can check here you see that my model is not suitable based on the model names. I will show you later where the system check and how, but first of all, this file is really necessary. So over here, you, you can see again, that is a lot of configuration option and I do not use for now for this simple example, everything. And only for example, in the drawing, I continue to checking the detail file in the assembly some relations and the multiple relations 
and some layer plays and status. Yeah. Okay. So it was how the system show the warning or errors or information. It's possible to check by this check file. If I will go back over here is the constant. You can see here that again is possible to open in the notepad and the system check here the minimum radius accuracy yeah for example maximum minimum accuracy or sharp edges angles and so on so over here you can see the maximum and minimum values for the dimensions used on the models i will go up here in the groups for now i do not use the groups but it's possible to see the example that for example you can specify the names of the user who will use the model check so in the company you have a 10 mechanical designers and you can specify the based on the names of the user who will check it for now i do not use it everybody can check the object by model check i will continue with start page so start and over here is the file the start and right now i think that it's really good to compare what we would like to do over here is the example that if i will use the star it's any number of character it's if it is this one is one digit or for example text character is the sign of dollar i will use it again for example this logic for the checking of the model names please stay tuned and i'd like to continue over here in the first row is the PRT datum rename so if you start using some default import data or you will start from scratch the system will create it in one two three and i'd like to change it right up front it works for 3d models same for assembly yeah so it's divided as it is i will check the tolerance type because i like to use for example din iso and again i'd like to check if my model is in millimeter and kilogram plus add some parameters check some layers and in the layers for example i like to create a new layer then name it as the reference planes or section planes and then the visualize see or blank or hide and directly the system need to recognize from some list so i will show you where the list is mentioned it and right now we have to go downstairs and over here are two text files first one is the model name and second one is dtm layer what does it mean if i will close this file right now from the start i will go to text you can see here that is the model name text file yeah same logic some text or numbers and then you can specify your custom model name or drawing name yeah and same for the layers you can specify the list yeah name of the list and then you can specify what will be included there and same for the date and planes or the x section names i will go back again to the start and right now you can see if i will open one more time that system for example reference planes list ref datum yeah so it's connected all together and again for example i'd like to add the relations and check the relation or for example check the model names so everything here for 3d model what right now we are checking is here same for assembly but has to be used the correct syntax for the assembly and in the drawing mode for example you can check the drawing name or for example drawing formats right now you understand these files and if i will go the in the creo right now we can check what was set up so for example you see right now that we have specified the dtm123 and if i will run the model check the system will check missing relation from the file 
Yeah, you can select the knot. You can see the missing parameters, what was defined in the start file, and missing layers. And again, you can see here. And continue with the information. The model of LR size was definite in the additional files. And if you will create anything new, for example, new datum plane, and it will be specified as the name, for example, a a okay and we, you will run the model check so i will use the map kmc you see that the layer place is not correctly for the curves and section planes and why because you know that everything is defined in the start file and in the start file mcs and the section plane is definite in the list x section and list x section is definite in the text file dtm layer and you can see that is the list x section so it's connected and right now if i will apply yeah i will add we can see in the layer tree that section plane is placed here and if I will select layer status, I can see that this layer has to be blanked because we have specified in the start file that layer will be blank. So I will select, I will update and everything is fine. And at the end, I'd like to reuse the correct naming of the model so you know that for example in your standard company you are using the model names based on the digit number or the combination of the letters and number and underscore so for example i will change right now yeah because you can see the model name is not suitable so i will rename the object based on the corresponding file name and if I will confirm OK and if I will run model check everything is fine maybe only one small error OK tolerance type is not defined correctly so what I need to do is the set correct standard isodin and if I will finally check the model will be zero warning, zero errors and information will be set up as I need and you can again have a look what is possible to set as the information. In today's video tutorial you have seen how it's possible to apply the changes and logic from the model check configuration to the 3D model assemblies or drawing based on the checking the parameters, relation, layers, visibility of the layers, model overall size and so on and so on. Please stay tuned, follow my YouTube channel, like video and donate. Thank you so much. Bye. Vladimir.